Deputy Boyd, Barrett wants to come back in on issues perhaps more, more directly related. Well, I do, but I, I have to comment on that. I mean, the Chinese state is a brutal totalitarian state that has a terrible history of oppression, including against the Uyghurs, Muslims that you're talking about, and going right back to Tiananmen Square. But isn't it a telling indictment of our own state and the NTA uh, that taxi drivers who need PPE uh, can't get it from their own government, from the NTA, but have to... Uh, end up getting it from the Chinese state. I mean, it's, it's, I think that's a, a question should be directed at the NTA, not at the taxi well, drivers. Well, maybe the Department of Foreign Affairs as well. Ju yeah. yeah. And maybe okay. we will. But you, might, you might wish us to make that recommendation. Uh, I absolutely do. And, uh, I mean, just, I just want to thank uh, Jerry and Jim. Uh, fair play to you for coming in. And uh, all of the taxi representative uh, groups. I am going to offer. Um, no, absolutely. I, I, I wanted to just press for this session to take place. So you might want to speak last, or you might wish to proceed now. It's it's, it's a matter for yourself. You, you want to sorry say that again? Uh, I know you pressed for this session to take place, so you might want to speak last, or you might want to proceed now. But I'm just alerting you to that there are two other speakers. Sure. Coming no, in. no problem. I'll I'll be quick. No, I'll go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. If that's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and just thank. I mean the. Uh, would it be a fair summary, just to ask Jerry and Jim, that the key things that you're asking for is for this step-down income subsidy to make it viable for taxi drivers to survive, for grants to cover your fixed costs because of the loss of income means you can't cover them yourselves, the 10 to 15, you know, the 10-year replacement rule to go to uh, 15, a moratorium on new licences, and critically for the NTA and I suppose the government, the Minister for Transport, to treat taxi drivers with respect uh, and give them fair representation on a committee that's supposed to be uh, representing them. Uh, maybe you could just say if that is a fair summary, if there's anything else you'd like to add, and maybe your own views about why the NTA seem to be treating taxi drivers with such contempt and ignoring them uh, and seeking to reduce your representation on committees rather than increase it. In relation to that, uh, I would add that uh, Dublin Airport be added onto that list, that uh, we need negotiations there and across the whole, the, the, the whole country and not take advantage of a COVID-19 to dismiss uh, the, um, the organisations of the taxi industry and other uh, people in transport. Uh, and the NTA seems to be a law unto themselves. They, they only come and look to, to solve problems. And in fairness, uh, we did solve an awful lot of problems in relation to the, 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 the wheelchair, the driver check app. All of this was brought in by representative groups at the time. And in fairness, we had the, the person in charge of, of the NTA at the time, Hugh Cregan, which listened to taxi drivers, met Massive amount. I brought 30 people in to, to, to meet Hugh Creek, and I know it's not feasible now. But from gone from there to where we are at the moment, being totally ignored, and it, it, it beggars beliefs. And I think the, the, the new Minister of Transport needs to talk to taxi drivers and form a new committee and bring people in. We were recommended. Uh, uh, um, for bus services within the city when, when capacity uh, had reached there. We need all to talk to one, one another within, within the, the, the transport community and not be ignored. And then if we're not being ignored, we're being dictated to. And we're not being given information in relation to screens, uh, masks, and, and, and any other thing in relation to COVID-19. I think we're totally being ignored. So, can I just say, uh, in, um, yes, Richard, it is a very good summary of uh, our submission. Uh, but the big thing is we need recognition. We want to be equal partners. We want to be sitting around the table with the likes of our colleagues here and other people so as we can discuss things. We're not looking for equal chop of the cake. Like We're not looking for five million because they got five million. We want to sit down and work out how, this, how the transport system works. And we all complement each other. I said it in my opening statement. We all need each other to survive and for success. Uh, I would just ask one last thing is, can you remember when the last promotion for the use of taxi was? Because I can't. You know, uh, I, I think that's something that needs to be done immediately from the National Transport Authority to promote the use of uh, small public service vehicles. 
And uh, as I said, the priority would be to stop the issuing of new licences at the moment. Uh, letting guys come into an industry that's down on its knees is just wrong. Thanks, Mr.